like 10 years old this capital city safe and sound and uh, there's no guitar in it really it's just a bunch of synthesizers and a trumpet so I arranged all these parts for the guitar and we're gonna play it um, kind of this funky ska kind of way and then we'll do the horn parts and some of the other cool things towards the uh, middle of the song all right so we're gonna start out with F major up here three two one one you have D G and then bar B and E on the first fret you can do a muted down hit and then an upstroke and do that twice. All right. And then we're going to move up to F over A. You're going to bar D, G, and B, or bar G, B, and E on the fifth fret. Have D on seven, six on B. And we're going to do the same thing. All right. So it's just two beats on each chord. One and two. And then from here, we're going to go to C major. We're going to have 5 on G and B, 3 on E. Okay. And then we're going to go to our another C major. We're going to have 11. I'm sorry, 10 on D, 9 on G, bar B and E on 8. Same rhythm, right? Muted down hit. Upstroke. Muted down hit. Upstroke. All right. So, so far you have... Okay, and then from here, we're going to go to A minor. You have 7 on D, bar G, B, and E on 5. Okay, then we're going to go to our next A minor. We have 10 on D, 9 on G, 10 on B, 8 on the high E. Alright, and then do the same rhythm there. And then from here, we're going to go to G major, but we're going to start out, we're going to play G over B. Just bar D, G, B, and E on 7, 9 on the D string, 8 on the B string. Okay. And from here, we're going to go down to G major, 5, 4, 3, 3. Alright, so all together, real slow, you have F major. C major, then A minor, then your G majors. When you string them all together, all right. So that's the intro. Um, this is just where the synths are coming in, okay? This is right before you start singing. Okay, so then when you start singing, right when you start singing, we're going to change the pattern of this. We're going to start out with this first F major. We're just going to hit this once with a muted down hit and an upstroke. And from there, we're going to go right into the F over A, and we're going to hit that one twice. And after you hit that F over A twice, we're going to walk that shape up, that same shape, and play G over B. Okay, and then from there, we're going to go into C major. 10, 9, 8, 8. All right, so we have. And then when I hit C major, I hit that on an upstroke. All right, and then we're going to stay on C major for four beats. So, once we get to C major, now 
after you hit that four beats, we're gonna go down to A minor, seven, five, five, five. Give it down up twice. Then up to your other A minor, 10, nine, 10, eight. Give it down up twice. All right, and then we go into our G over B, bar D, G, and B on seven, nine on D, eight on the B string. Give it down up twice there, and then right down to your regular G major, five, four, three, three. All right, so all together you get. Okay, and then you just keep doing that as he's singing, and then you can end on this little light and then it'll get into the horn part, right? Or you could walk it back up, you could go uh If you wanted to walk it back up to that G over B, you could, right? So that's the intro and that's the verse and then we'll get into the horn part. All right, so we're gonna start out the second inversion F major seven chord. Just bar D, G, B, and E on 10, 12 on the high E. Okay, and we're gonna hit that once. And then we're gonna go into that F with A on the bottom. Seven on D, bar G, B, and E on five, have six on B. It's really important to hit the G, B, and E strings really heavy, right? And then from here, we're gonna walk up to G over B. And then we're gonna walk into C major. So you go from F major seven, then you have your F over A, then your G over B, and then walk into C, right? And that's where the, the kind of quicker eighth note rhythm picks up. And then from C, we're gonna have D, G, B, and E, bar on 10, we're gonna play D minor seven. So you have F major seven, F over A, G over B, to C major, to D minor seven. All right, so you get, then we go back to F major seven, then we're gonna go down to E minor, right? This is really what makes one of the, the turnarounds kind of give it its sound, right? So instead of going to G, we go to E minor. So you have F major seven. And we're gonna play our E minor three on, or five on D, four on G, five on B, three on E. Okay, so your first round of the trumpet will be Repeat that over and over. Or practice that over and over is what I mean to say, right? Just sit there with that that sequence. And you kind of let this F over A, you gotta let this ring out a little more. And when you go to that E minor, let that ring out a little more, okay? So that's your first pattern. minor again and walk it back up. I'm gonna walk up from E minor, back up to G over B, to C major, to D minor seven. All right, so you have, okay, so your whole first part of the trumpet solo is, turn it around and we're gonna start on F major 7 again and we're gonna go to A minor instead of going to F over A okay so after you hit that F major 7 have 7 on D bar G B and E on 5 and then you walk up to your G over B back into C major into your D minor 7 then hit your F major 7 again. This time we're going to go down, we're going to play G major. 5, 4, 3, 3. Okay, so you have... Okay, and then from 
here you end it and we're going to walk up to the octave of that G major. So you have 17, 16, 15, 15. Hit it twice and then go down that same shape to F major. 15, 14, 13, 13. Hit that F major once. And then end it on that F major 7. 10, 10, 10, 12. So real slow, all the parts together in the beginning you have. Alright, so that's the trumpet part. So then we get into this cool part, um, it's this breakdown, I think it's after the second chorus. I don't know if it's a guitar part or a synth part, it kind of sounds like a guitar part. But um, I'm just adding on, I got a univibe, a flanger, a chorus, and um, a little reverb. So we're going to start out, I'm going to call this a, a, a D minor at 4. We're just going to play your D minor chord, have D on 12, or G, B, and E on 10. And then on the 15th fret, get your pinky on the high E, get that G note. That's going to be the 4 we're going to add, okay? going to strum it once from D down. Then we're going to go to F major 7. Okay, you're going to bar D, G, and B on 10. Actually D, G, B, and E. And then have 12 on the high E. Alright, after you give that a strum, then we're going to go into this D minor 7. We're going to put A on the bottom. Have 12 on A, bar D, G, and B on 10. We're gonna go up, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna play this E minor seven. We're gonna put B on the bottom. Okay, so you have 14 on the A string, or D, G, B, and E on 12. Okay, and you're gonna repeat that whole sequence of those four chords twice. So you start out with your D minor at four. So your F major seven. Your D minor seven with A on the bottom. Minor seven with B on the bottom. All right, so you have okay, and then when he gets out of that, there's this horn part um, that he comes out of, and it's kind of dun -da 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 -da. cut some of this junk off. You know that whole thing? So we're going to start out, we're going to do a scratchy 16th note rhythm. Up, down, up, down, up. Actually we start out down, up, and then just form this F major 7 chord, or D, G, B, and E on 10, have your high E on 12. Okay, so we start with your down up muted, and then play the full chord, down up, then take your pinky off of that 12 and just hit your uh, D minor 7, and then just do one down hit of just the bar on 10 for that D minor 7, and then do an upstroke back to that F major 7 with your pinky on uh, high E on 12, so you have... And then do a scratchy 16th note, down, up, down, up. And I'm really just picking, I'm strumming just the G, B, and E strings. It's okay if you hit the D, but you don't have to hit it in there. And you can just play this the whole time. The bass note moves. But this part stays the same, so you don't have to move the bass line with it. You can just play this over and over. Alright, so that's everything, right? <clears throat> so, everything really slow. You have your intro part. You have...
after that, you start singing and you change it, you have your verse part. Okay, you just keep repeating that. Then after that, we have uh, our horn part, real slow, you get... And so with that, again, just work on it real slow. Just add one piece at a time and just kind of sit there. And just work on it over and over again. And you'll start to get the hang of it and then bring it up to speed. It's at like 118 beats a minute is the tempo. And then um, after we get into that, we have our little breakdown we just did. You have those four chords and then the little uh, funky rhythm. So it's a fun song, that's everything you need to play it. Um, it'd be a great song to play in a ska band or um, you know, something like that. But uh, that's it, that's everything. Just practice slow, have fun, see you next time.